Hello everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to Friday night premiere episode of Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Ling. I'm Jeremy. And we apologize for missing Tuesday night's premiere. Yeah. We actually did film. Um, we filmed late. Yes, we, we didn't did. film it until Tuesday afternoon. And then when I was editing it, we realized that the whole thing was out of focus. Yeah. And I said to Jeremy, should we just throw this up anyway? And we were like, oh, heck no. no. We won't put anything out that's crappy just for the sake of it. Exactly. So we apologize for not being here. We poured late just because of the whole fluid art experience. And it's kind of, yeah. it, just, it just messes up a little bit for the weekend. But we really... Clearly we'll get back into a schedule and tonight we're here with you. Thank you so very much to everyone that came and saw us at the Fluid Art Experience. Oh you guys gosh. are amazing. So much fun. Special thank you to Shalimar Arnold for the care package that we received with your yes. wonderful art in it. Thank you thank so you. very much. And also to Grandma Donna. Yes. Who sent us sent me a copy of the Independence, Declaration of Independence for becoming an American citizen this year. Thank you so much, love. Plus some of your art, plus some of the your art that we gave away to the girls as well. So you guys are just awesome. Thank you so very much for taking thinking of us and sending us those pieces. Yeah. We appreciate you. So to today's pour. Yes. You picked the colours, show pony. I did pick the colours. There may be a little craziness going on, <laughs> but there always is whenever the show pony picks the colours. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to do a ring. I don't know if I'm going to wreck it or not yet, because I have to see the composition first. Okay. But I haven't wrecked a ring in a while, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Fair point. Yeah, we always say we like to see what the composition says yeah. to us before you decide whether you want to wreck it yeah. or not. I'm going to then do a straight pour. Because yeah. I've seen the colours, I think these will lend themselves really well to a straight pour. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. It feels like it's been a while since we've painted in the studio for some reason. I know. Bizarreness. We're all wrapped up because um, it's a little chilly it's a little here chilly. this weekend. Um, but yes, let's get to it. All right. We'll see you at the table. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm super excited about today's pour. You are? I am. Why is I'm that? I'm really excited because it's going to be a ring pour. Right. Yes. And Ooh. it's on a 16 by 16 gallery wrap canvas. Love it has it. been taped and pinned on the back. Great. And, and I believe you also sprayed it as well. I did spray it. Right. Yes, look tight like a drum. <laughs> <laughs> so, strong like bull. Strong like bull. Tight like so bull. the colors that I'm using today is Starting out with this Pearl White by Amsterdam. What have you done to that tub of Pearl White? Look yeah, at that. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's pretty much used. Right. Now, my favorite color, Cadmium Orange oh, by Lord. Goldens. I'm already so, scared of this one. Love it. Um, we're also using turquoise, uh, phalo turquoise. Love it. Um, now, we mixed satin enamels. In with the base in coat. In with the base coat. Yeah. Yes, so it's in with the base coat. Thank you. And I'm also using Phalo Blue by Goldens. Mm -hmm. And then I have Pearl Glacier Blue and Pearl Pastel Green by Arteza. Now, I don't think we've used Love that pastel these. green before. No, we have not. We normally use the pistachio, but the pistachio. It, it looks very similar to pistachio. It looks very similar to pistachio. I, I wonder what the difference is. Um, the pistachio is a little bit greener. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit darker green. Got it. Yeah, it's very close, very similar. Okay. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to flooding my base coat. No, I'm gonna go ahead and layer my cup first. Sorry. Whatever, I mean, you know, either, either or, whatever you want. <laughs> it's been a while since we actually poured on the channel. You can get all confused. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get to layer my cup, you guys. So these are some crazy colors that you've picked. Jeremy, oh, well, especially that, well, they're not really that crazy, but that orange is just scaring the bejesus out of me. It should. Okay, it does. It should. Okay, so I'm stood right here, and I'm going to watch you layer this for a ring pull. Yes. Mm. So there's some white. A little bit of phalo. Yeah. I'm gonna go with some of this. This being Pearl Glacier. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. You know what? I'm gonna do this. 
You are. I am. Because I'm going to put this green. Uh, that green? I mean, this orange. Okay. Between the white. The whites. So you're isolating the orange in between the layers. I am. The white. Go for okay. it. It's like musical cups over here. It is. What? <laughs> you're laughing at me. I'm laughing at you with these cups, like putting one in one place, moving it out, putting it in another place. <laughs> you make me laugh. Pearl on pearl. It's fine. It's just a white layer. No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't complaining. I was just pointing it out. Some phalos. Phalo. I'm phalo. just gonna go ahead straight with the. I love that Beyonce song, Phalo. <laughs> love love my phalo, phalo. Exactly. Pearl on pearl. Pearl on pearl. Interesting. I'm gonna do the orange. Oof. It's a, it's a very wintry scene, and then we've got that orange in there and makes it look like a popsicle, Shock. right? Shock and awe. So now it's a 16 by 16. You don't need much more than what you've got in the cup, sir. Okay. Yeah, just, right. a, just as a, an aside. All right. Yeah? Are you happy yeah, with that? I'm happy with that. Lovely jubbly. All right. So I'm going to get to layer in my flooding my canvas here. Are you, are, you, are you sure you're going to be layering your flooding in your canvas? I'm going to layer the flooding of <laughs> my canvas right now. <laughs> Okay guys, now that my canvas is all flooded, I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring my rings. Lovely, jubbly. Wow, that's a stunning ring. Thank you. So, sir, you said that you weren't going to decide whether you were going to wreck it or not until you saw it on the canvas. May I um, suggest that you just center the composition because it's going to start rolling over the edge any um, second. I'm going to just stretch this out. You're not going to wreck it? I'm not going to wreck it. Huh. I see a lot of really interesting things that's going on right here in the center that I really like. So I'm going to keep it as is. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Are you taking special out. requests? Yes, I am. Can I request? Can I request that you wreck it? Of, yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, because listen, I, I think that you look at a ring and you think it's too pretty to wreck it. Well, that's that for me goes against the reason why you shouldn't wreck it because I think you'll make it even prettier. I know. I was just afraid of making mud too. Well, that would be a reason not to wreck it. Yeah. Okay. If you if you're afraid of making mud, then don't wreck it. Yeah, I'm gonna not wreck it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it the way it is. Oh, all right. So, so is it now then officially not wrecking time? <laughs> it's not wrecking tilting time. But it's now tilting time. <laughs> yes. Tilting time. Tilting time. Get it, I did, big boy.
Wow, you guys, I am so thrilled with this. I love the, like everything that's happening in the center with the white and the blues and the orange and that phalo turquoise that just kind of moves through it here and mm -hmm. there. Um, I'm loving all the blue, I'm loving the orange right here. I think it just came out really great. Uh, I can't wait to hear what your comments are gonna be like. And uh, I'm gonna get my edges and take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ladles and jelly spoons. It's a little chilly in Texas. I've got my painting shirt on with my painting gloves. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little cold. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ring pour. Show Thank pony. You. I love the way that you use the white to isolate the orange away from some of the other colors. That was a perfect move. Thank you. I liked it a lot. So I'm going to do exactly, uh, use exactly the same colors as the show pony, um, but I'm going to do a straight pour. So whereas the show pony was wringing the colours from the cup in a circular motion, aka a ring, I'm just going to pour it straight from the cup. And I'm going to vary the height of the pour. Um, if you go higher, then the colours will blend more. If you go lower, then you get kind of more thicker lines. And I might move my hand from side to side, but I'm not going to be wringing for, you know, the majority of this pour. There's a possibility it might ring at the very end but we'll see when we get there um all right show pony so let's get to this i might drizzle a little bit of my base coat into my colors but we'll see i haven't decided just yet so i'm going to pour it right here sure just like you i am going to start out with a little bit of the white um but i've just decided i'm going to put a little bit of the beige in there too just a little bit because that's the one that has the satin enamels now you went in with the phalo, I'm going to go straight in. Sorry, you went in with the, yeah, the phalo. I'm going to go in with the phalo turquoise. No, I went in with the blue. You did, phalo blue though, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go in with the phalo turquoise. A little bit more white. Now the phalo blue. A little bit more white again. 
now the orange. Okay. Now we're going to just keep layering. And now we're done. Nice. Beautiful layered cup. So this is my layered cup. I did put a little bit of the beige in the bottom there a couple of times, but um, there wasn't tons of it. Now we're going to pour into a puddle of beige. Now this is actually pearl white mixed with some of the neutral beige satin enamels. So this definitely has a little bit of a pearly glaze to it, but um, it's the satin enamels in here that I'm excited to pour into because when you pour into satin enamels or you use them in your straight pours, you get those delicious, big, bouldery, buttery cells. All right, sir, are you ready for this? I am ready. Do, 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 We're gonna get to this. This is my straight pour into my beige. We got some dark colors in there. So on camera, it looks dark, but in real life, it's definitely a lot brighter than you're seeing. But hopefully as I open this one up, it'll become a lot brighter even still. Now let's get a flow extender around this one. Bringing that composition back a ways, just like the show pony, I veered off a little bit to the right. Uh, the table is actually perfectly level, but what happens is our hands and veer to one direction. I guess it's because we're both right-handed, I wonder. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And now, taking a chopstick, I'm gonna wreck it. Before you do that, can I just say something? You may. Okay, I don't think you should wreck it, and this is why. Let me show you. Look at all these, like, flames that you have going through the, the orange through flames. here. Flames. Right. And I think that if you wreck it, you're gonna lose a lot of that. You I don't think? think you should wreck it, yeah. I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck it, show pony. I don't think you should. I hear that. And maybe this is gonna be a mistake, but you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm not gonna do as much crazy loop-de-loop -loop as you do, but I am gonna wreck it. so funny. I went from the wrecking king to now you're like wrecking it. Well, I am not by any means attempting to take on your kingly status. I see what you're doing. Well, and you know there's a very strong chance that all that's gonna get tilted off. So I wasn't right. particularly like, you know, overly brave here, but we'll see what happens. All right. All right, sir. Yes. It's now tilting time. Is it tilting time? It, it, what is it tilting time? It's tilting time. I guess then it is.
holy cow. Okay, <laughs> I love this. Like, love it, love it. I know when I really love a piece because what I can't wait to do is take a picture of it and send it to Mina uh, because she's the person <laughs> that I always send pictures of our pieces to. We both do it the same. We're like, look at this, look at this. Um, I love it. I love the, the blue and the phalo and the orange all interacting with each other in this pool. And the show pony just turned around and said, I'm so glad you wrecked it. Me too. I love all these like really cool curly cues and all the mm -hmm. way through it. Mm -hmm. And then the, like you said, the fire that, that's created by the orange. I love this. I hope this dries really well because I'm going to resin the crap out of this one. Nice. Absolutely. All right, peeps, I'm going to take you in for a close up. I've just got mages. We'll torch it one last time. Hopefully you can uh, see what I see on this one. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. We never did that in the Flew Ocean, <laughs> so there you have it, folks. What did you think, Jeremy? I loved mine. I thought it came out great, but I love orange, so, you know, and I love phalo turquoise, and right. I love phalo blue, so. You picked all your I favorite colors. All, <laughs> some well, of you my also love the pearl green, you love the pearl blue. I do, pearl blue. I love pearls, so. You decided not to wreck yours. I did. Did you regret it afterwards or were you happy? No, I was happy because I thought that if I wrecked it, there was a lot of orange in mine. Okay. And I thought that if I wrecked it, it, it would make mud because I'd be mixing it with the other right. colors that way. Fair. So I just decided to, to play it safe. I loved your paw. I thought Thank it was you. really pretty. Thank you. And because you decided not to wreck it, yep. I decided to wreck my straight <laughs> paw. <laughs> Which I was like this, I was like, you, you, he, he asked me not to, to do it. He actually said, please don't wreck it. But you know, I'm so glad I did. I know, me too. I didn't go through the middle because yeah. I, I, mean, I saw what you saw, but I really loved playing with the edges yeah. of this and then managed to keep it on the actual canvas too. Mm. That's quite possibly one of my all-time favorite straight paws. Oh, that's and beautiful. It's because of those colors you picked. So thank you. Thank you, Show Pony. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope they dry really well in this cold Texan air. Oh, I know, right? Because we'll resin those both. They will absolutely both be in an upcoming yeah. auction for sure. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you're welcome. you, sir. So, happy Friday night, everyone. You will have just seen Mina Poor. If you didn't see Mina Poor, please go back and watch Mina Poor. Yes. Because it was stunning. I've already seen pictures of it fantasticness from the lovely Mina Villegas. And there will be a train, I'm sure, this Sunday. I, I think there'll be a train. It's at least gonna be us and Mina and probably Sarah or maybe Gina or yeah. maybe Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. There'll be some fun stuff going on this weekend for sure. Yeah. Um, but that's it. Anything else to say? No, not at no, all. No. Yeah, I'm Thank good. you for watching. Thank you for being here with us. Please like and subscribe. It means everything. It does. Have a beautiful Friday night and a fantastic weekend and we'll see you back here on Sunday. Sounds good. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank... Spank? <laughs> <laughs> spank some very... <laughs> <laughs> We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. 
And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houdsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, and it's Gillian Barnett. Now with the platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys and to everyone else whose names that you'll see here listed below, thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey, and we're gonna keep pouring. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye guys. <laughs>